cried. Everyone, run! Run! The place is gonna blow! Run! Run! The workmen cleared out of the way as soon as possible and then stopped and watched. From inside the cave, there was a terrible crash. Bertram was in there. Oh no. Meanwhile, the workmen in the blockade committee were at a standstill. Both sides stood unmoving. Neither side fired. From the safety of behind some bulletproof oil drums, Alfred Herman stood holding a small gun. He climbed to the top of the oil drums and then fired a shot to no one in particular. He then quickly scrambled back down and hid. Did you hear that? So. They opened fire on us. Everyone fire. Fire! As this was taking place, Simon ran off. Meanwhile, Alfred Herman went off to find the fat controller. Sir, sir, there you are. Hey, hey, I've, hey, I've been doing some thinking, and I realize you were right. It is all Percival's fault, every bit of it. That's, that's great. That's exactly what I was going to say. If he was here right now, I would fight him. I would, I'd, I'd kill him. Wonderful. Meet me at the viaduct in ten minutes. What, what, what for? What for? Just, just meet me there. Trust me. All right. And so Sir Topham Hatt stumbled off to the viaduct. Hey, hey, you there, you there, come here, quickly, quickly. Huh? Well, what? Give this to Mr. Percival as soon as you can. It's from Sir Topham Hatt. It's very important. Give it to him? Yes, yes, hand deliver it right now. Run, run. Uh, uh, you, you there, the little blue engine right there. Um, I need you to give me a ride as soon as possible. It's Sir Topham Hatt's orders. Very important. Come on, Thomas, said his driver. Orders are orders. So Alfred Herman hopped in his cab and Thomas took off. And together they went racing across Sodor with Herman leaning out of Thomas's cab, shouting for everyone at the stations. Come to the viaduct! Come to the viaduct as quickly as you can! Hurry! It's going to be big! Hurry! Come to the viaduct! Come to the viaduct, everyone! Everyone, come to the viaduct! It's very important! Everyone, come to the viaduct. Advance. Hurry. Stop here, Thomas. Sir, there you are. Hey, I, uh, I'm, I'm ready to do whatever you want. I, 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 if I, if, if you, you, I, that's good. That's good. Keep in that mindset. Now just wait. A small crowd of people had begun to form. This was had, wasn't it? Oh, I'm getting really tired of him. The nerve of that man thinking he can come in and sabotage my railway time and time again, and I'm just going to sit here and let it happen. Someone needs to do something about him. Mr. Percival, you have a message from Sir Topham Hatt. Apparently it's very urgent. Meet me at the viaduct. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will meet him at the viaduct. Yes, I'd like to have a word with him. I think I will meet him. Yes, I will.
Sir Topham Hatt was still rambling incoherently. Thomas was shocked. He had never seen his controller acting or speaking this way. I... I don't know what to say. I don't know what's more horrifying. What I just saw, or that I just found out that most of those beautifying treatments are real. Pause this right now! Pause! Fucking hell! Pause! Pause! I'm fucking dumb. Oh my fucking god. What? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna- I'm- I'm done. I'm retiring from YouTube. What the fuck? I really- What? What scares me is the fact that given what I've seen in media, I believe that. However, this is completely hypocritical! What would you say if Percival was coming here? I'd, I'd wring his neck. I'd, I'd snap his face where he stands. Dang! Why the hell would you do that? Oh, jeez, dial it down a little bit, Arthur. Good, because he is coming. What? Really? Yes, here, take this. He put something into Sir Topham Hat's pocket and then began to walk away. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, let me hold your hat. Why? Well, we wouldn't want to scuff it up in the fight now, would we? It's already got a bullet hole in it. Wouldn't want it to get two bullet holes in it. As Sir Topham Hat climbed up the viaduct, Alfred Herman dropped his hat on the ground and quickly ran away. Mr. Percival emerged from the other side of the tunnel. What is all this? First of all, first of all, come up here and fight me. Come on, get up here. Bertram, what is all this? Come on, just get up here. Fight me now. Come on, get up here. Meanwhile, Simon was walking in the countryside. Finally, he stopped at his destination. There it was in front of him. Reverend Charles Laxey's church. As Simon began to remember the events that took place inside that building, as the memories began to bubble up in his conscious mind, Simon squeezed his eyes shut and tried to focus on the task at hand. Bertram, what is going on here? What are all these people here for? Percival, you have been pushing me around for too long. You've been messing with all my stuff, you've been causing all my problems lately, and I'm not going to have it anymore. What are you talking about? You've been causing all of my problems. No, don't play that game with me like you're the innocent guy and I'm the bad guy because it's not it's you're you're bad and I'm the hero. What do you what do you Bertram? Reverend Laxey quickly called the fire department, but Flynn could not run. His engine had been cut. Everything that's gone wrong this month has been your fault. No, it hasn't. It's been your fault. Wh why are you acting so strangely? Just then, Sir Topham Hatt felt in his pocket for what Alfred Herman had put inside it. Ooh. Bertram! Oh, sweet Jesus, what is that? No! Ah! What happened? Yeah. Bertram, stay back. Bertram. Bertram, please, please don't, Bertram. <sighs> Sorry, Peter. You know. Meanwhile, Simon walked off in the direction of Sir Topham Hatt's house. Peter. Laura? Be careful. <laughs> Laura! <laughs> Why the hell would you do that? Please. No. Oh. Oh, Peter, I guess this is the end. There's like that. Is it opening this door? Uh, it, no, I What? I think I recognize. Some. Alpha Fiddle. Wait. Is it? Is it? Yeah.
Sodor, 